Dr. Wolfgang Woldarg sees the current corona pandemic. Dr. Wolfgang Woldarg is the first specialist we met to understand the current crisis about the coronavirus. Published the 5th of May, 2020. A malignant crisis that is entirely driven by misinformation. By Stefan Nordhook and Wolfgang Woldarg. The now world famous Dr. Wolfgang Woldarg, who has decades of experience with viruses, epidemics, and their consequences, presents his vision on the corona crisis. A malignant crisis that is entirely driven by misinformation and panic. On the one hand, a corona test that detects old coronaviruses that have been circulating among people for a long time. Performed in ever-increasing numbers, these by definition result in ever-increasing numbers of positive tests, alarmingly labeled cases. A flu wave that in the medical world and the media only consist of corona, and where all other respiratory viruses that also participate suddenly disappear from the picture. A worldwide total number of flu victims that is completely in line with other years. And on the other hand, a disease, COVID-19, that has no specific symptoms but is mainly caused by panic. Panic that has caused problems for hospitals and healthcare providers in various parts of the world. Not because of the disease itself, but because of other diverse circumstances, including population structure, health quality, and capacity versus care, and the often fatal ICU breathing treatment, aka intubation, ventilation. Dr. Waldarg is reassuring for anyone concerned about the virus that the danger is no greater than in any other flu season. Now, also, also based on tens of international leading scientists analyzing actual figures from all over the world. Waldark's message is disturbing when you wonder how the whole world can be fooled by such a clearly fact-free panic, allowing itself to be led to the curtailment of the most fundamental freedoms. A world that thinks it has to prepare itself for a new normal in which incredibly dangerous and extremely undesirable solutions such as mass vaccination, contact tracing, and other surveillance are seen as attractive. Bulldog warns for a new wave of cleverly induced panic and thousands of unnecessary deaths as the COVID-19 hydroxychloroquine treatments that are now being prepared in the hundreds of trials by the WHO will soon be carried out in Africa. 10 to 20 percent of the male population of former malaria areas have favism, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency or G6PD. For this large group of people, treatment with hydroxychloroquine is often fatal. Dr. Wolfgang Waldarg urges everyone to address their own local people's representatives and to appeal to their sense of responsibility to inform others and to ensure that a worldwide madness about this lied crisis and the incredibly dangerous solutions are turned around immediately. Dr. Wolfgang Waldar, born in 1947, is an internist and pul pulmonologist, specialist for hygiene and environmental medicine, as well as for public health or in public health and social medicine. After his clinical activity as an internist, he was, among other things, public health officer in Schleswig-Holstein for 13 years, lecturer at universities and universities of applied sciences and chairman of the expert committee for health related environmental protection at the schleswig holstein medical association in 1991 he received a daad scholarship to johns hopkins university in baltimore usa in epidemiology 
As a member of the German Bundestag, our Bundestag from 1994 to 2009, he was initiator and speaker in the Enquete Commission Ethics and Law of Modern Medicine, member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, where he was chairman of the Subcommittee on Health and Deputy Chairman of the Committee on Culture, Education, and Science. In 2009, he initiated the Committee of Inquiry into WHO's role in the H1N1 swine flu in Strasbourg, where he remained as a scientific expert after leaving Parliament. Since 2011, he has been working as a freelance university lecturer, doctor, and health scientist, and was a volunteer member of the board and head of the health working group at Transparency International Germany until 2020. Thank you for listening.